This is the first phase after we make heading cut from last year and from that point we need to have 4 nice spread branches. As you can see we have a lot of unwanted branches, so we will reduce the weak and badly positioned branches. We don't want our branches to grow above each other, so we will remove one that have more upper grow, because we want to spread canopy as much as we can. And now we have a good shape for coming year. This is a second phase and as you can see this is a branch that has grown since last year. And now we have two new branches that grew from this point. The first thing we do is to remove branches that have started to grow too low on the tree. The branches that grow downwards should also be removed. Remove shoots from the center of the tree if you want to have nicely spread canopy with good sunlight and airflow. In the second phase we also removing unwanted branches and reducing side ones because we want to good balanced canopy. This tree is young, so we have to reduce the amount of fruit by removing these branches. The typical shape on which apricots are pruned is an open center. The shape is equally good for a tree that is in your yard, but also for economic production in the orchard. This is a branch of one year growth and this is from second there we have flower buds and this is the place where we gonna have some fruit. Apricots will also bear fruit on these small branches. This is all fruit buds. And this is the point where the annual branch starts to grow, as you can see it is a different color. At this phase we are removing all branches that are weak and too low. We also have to reduce the number of branches on this leader because we don't want it too many fruits and break leader. We are also removing all branches that grows inside of canopy. On that way we are allowing air and sunlight to penetrate into the canopy. This branch is too strong in compared to others, so to make more balance we are removing it. We cut the leader branches to the height of about 3 meters, because we want to improve the quality of the fruit and at the same time prevent it from breaking due to the weight of the fruit. Apricots bear fruit on spurs, the ripened wood that bears for up to 4 years. Without regular pruning, the new wood is not forced into growth and production suffers in later years. Pruning of apricots aims to balance stimulate the growth of the new wood 
with a retaining fruit producing ripe wood. As with any apricot tree, we prune branches that are low and those that grow inside the canopy. You typically do not need two apricot trees to produce fruit. They are self-fertile, which is a boon for the gardener who has a limited amount of space. The best time to plant your apricot tree is in the fall. This tree is quite full of fruit potential, so we need to relax and reduce amount of branches on this apricot tree. Remove the branches that collide with each other because you don't want to damage the fruits when it's windy. The same thing as the previous phase, we reduce the number of branches and pruning leader branches to 3 meters in height. If you are wondering how to keep your apricot tree small, the only way to do it is to prune it once a year. Apricot trees are trusty plants and they like about 4 cm of water every 10 days to 2 weeks. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section and if you like the content on this channel please subscribe. There are too many leaders in the center of canopy. We will have to reduce their number. Trimming away any diseased or unwanted branches increases light and air flow, which improves your tree's overall health.
Use grafting wax on larger sections to protect plant from water ingress and diseases. This tree has a similar situation, the only difference is that it's the more lush. The first thing when we start pruning a tree is to start removing branches that are too low. After that we want to remove all branches that grows inside the canopy. We must help the weak branches, so we must reduce the number of fruitful branches on it, so that it does not break under the weight of the fruits. Also here on every branch leader we are removing some fruitful branches to achieve more quality fruit and at the same time help tree to have more sunlight and air flow through the canopy. If we regularly prune our tree and remove such a disease branches we will significantly extend the life of this apricot tree. Apricot trees are perennials, meaning that they can live for a very long period of time. Apricots usually live between 40 and 150 years. This branch has already bent and if we leave everything it will break under the weight of the fruits. Always choose bud that grows outside of canopy. We don't want our leader to split into two branches, so we will remove the one that goes more towards inside of the trunk. We always choose branches that grow outside the crown.
In this case, we are making exception because this branch is fruitful and leader can handle it. And always top leader around 3 meters. Fruit trees are usually pruned in late winter, February, early March, to adjust the tree's structure. Summer pruning can also be done, but this is typically used to control or slow down growth. Removing dead, diseased or dying branches can be done at any time of year. Your apricot tree should be pruned every year for it to produce and perform at its best. If you don't prune your apricot tree, you are leaving it susceptible to disease and overfruiting, which damages the tree's health and reduces the quality of fruit. Fertilizing is an excellent way to replenish the nutrient in your soil, especially nitrogen. Nitrogen encourages green vegetative growth, which is exactly what you want to promote before your apricot tree reaches its fruit-bearing years. Always test your soil prior to applying any fertilizers. Different soils can have varying amounts of native elements needed to support apricot tree growth and development. If you discover your soil lacks any necessary nutrients, be sure to choose a fertilizer that supplements the soil's nutrition deficiency.
now we have an mature apricot tree over 15 years old. These shaped apricot trees are just what they sound like, a center trunk that branches into an upright arching shape that divides at the top. These shaped trees are graceful and perfect for lining walkways, because they offer both shade and header, and also good for orchards. Sometimes grafted rootstock can sucker and send out shoots that revert to the type of growth of the original tree. If these suckers are not cut off and removed, it can overtake the growth of the tree. First, will we start from these smaller branches to reduce the number of flower branches. Also, remove any branches that have dried up. Remove branches that grow inside the trunk. This branch is weak for this amount of fruit branches. We remove branches that grow downward and that are not well exposed to the sun. Cut the branches to desired height, usually around 3 meters. Remove thick branches that have degenerated and do not have as much fruit potential. Our job is to open the canopy here so that the sun's rays and air can pass through more easily. Thank you. 
you need to remove branches that overlap. Always cut on the bud that grow outside of the canopy. Remove all branches from the center of the trunk. 